Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, starting with the 144,000 men of Israel, which would consist of the servants, the prophets, whom have been ordained since the foundations of this earth to sing this new song, which comes in the form of this gospel, which would be preached throughout all four corners of this earth and rest upon the ears of the innumerable multitude of the men, women, and children of Israel, which may be scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a brief lesson and Lord willing, share an article uh, with you, Aki Aminakwaf, you know, going into the you know times we're entering into. You know, we know we're entering into, you know, uh, beautiful you know, yet dangerous times, man. You know, and the global lockdowns and, you know, martial law and violence and evil. You know, it's on the table, man. You know, with everything that's brewing over there in the Middle East, you know, with these small hats, you know, them warring against the Palestinians, you know, it's pretty much uh, the beginning stages, you know, of this global third world's war, man. You know, and ultimately, uh, this thing's going to touch home, you know, and, you know, home for you Babylonians. You know, Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, man. You see, that's going to cause a domino effect. You see where it's going to affect, okay, the mother of harlots, man. So through the spirit and power of Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, the first scripture I want to get into, you know, through the spirit, was the book. Of Isaiah. The 24th chapter. And the 10th verse. And it reads. The city of confusion. Is broken down. And what's the city of confusion? Mystery Babylon the great man. A.K.A. America. You see that's where you get that word Babel from. You see Babylon goes into what? Confusion by mixture. You see, and this place is full of uh, complete confusion, man. You know, from <laughs> from these from these uh, people moving around uh, like uh, tr uh, transformers. You know, to all these random uh, religions, you know, sprawled out, you know, all over this queendom. You know, you have a a clusterfuck. <laughs> as they were saying in the world, you know, of nations, you know, amongst each other, you know, which was never uh, the ordeal setup, according to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because believe it or not, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is a separatist. You see? This is why when you go take a glance uh, into Genesis, when you go back in time, you know, the Tower of Babel was the first uh, NWO attempt, you see, for these for these heathens, these sons of men, you know, to, to gather, to gather amongst each other, man. You see? And create a one world order. You see? A new world order under one, under one uh, power, man. See, this was the goal of the, of the heathens since the beginning. And now we see evil E, you know, Moving into this final step, you know, of this fourth industrial revolution with him, you know, gathering the nations, heaping up all the people, and pretty much controlling everybody, you know, through that device, you know, the size of a grain of rice, man, you know, that, that micro uh, sea hit, you see, but ultimately, it's not going to work out in his favor. And dust is where this whore is going to sit, pursuant to Isaiah uh, 
the 47th chapter. You know, Babylon's going to sit in the dust. You see, which goes into confusion, man. See, the city of confusion is broken down. Okay? Every house is shut up. That no man may come in. You see, because ultimately there's going to be... Uh, you know, there's going to be a uh, uh, lockdown, man, in this place. And ultimately, there's going to be uh, seditions among men. You know, they're going to issue forth, um, you know, martial law. You see, it's going to get chaotic out here, man. And those of us, you know, that dwell in the courts of Yahweh Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, we hope and pray to be protected and secured. Directed and guided and guarded, you know, during these times, man. There is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone, man. We're coming into this time, man, where misery and only misery is going to be present. And we can see the beginning stages of that now. These right wing, uh, <laughs> uh, red blooded Edomites can already see uh, that that constitution. Is deteriorating their constitution, their constitutional rights. You see, this is why they're, you know, bucking up, talking about uh, they will not comply. You see, because they can see Mystery Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, is about to die, man. They can see it themselves, man. And the city is left desolation. And the gate is smitten. With destruction, man. That's the end game for Babylon. Via World War III. And pursuing the prophecy. All right, Jeremiah of the 49th chapter. In the 28th verse, you also have it uttered in uh, Jeremiah 51. The least of the flock is going to draw Babylon out, man. And that's these small hats, man. <laughs> See them, them, them Israelis, man. Now, let's get this article real quick. You know, because what you people out there that have no understanding don't understand is what what's going on over there in the Middle East. All right, it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna come to your front doorstep, man. It ain't gonna just stay over there. And hey, this is biblical prophecy playing out in your face. All right, this is Zero Hedge, and this article is dated uh, October 29th, two thousand twenty-three, and the title reads, "Why the war." will bring inevitable attempts at martial law in America, man. And this is a reality. You see, because we understand, hey, that them boots are going to hit the ground, man. The book of 2nd Ezra 16 tells us that they're going to come in like madmen, sparing none. You see? Let me get a little bit more of this article. Lord, actually, I'm going to go get that. Let's get a little more of this article. No long, not long ago, at the height of fear over the global scamdemic, the U.S. underwent a change that many people argue would never happen. Right, and these Babylonians are proud. They think this place will never fall, man. You see? That's even, uh, I believe that's even in Isaiah 47 as well. You see, she thought she would never fall, man. Through the pride of their heart. See, they've been deceived, man. For years, I have heard people say that authoritarian, authoritarian controls in Babylon are, are tinfoil, have hat conspiracy theory, tinfoil hat conspiracy theory, and doom mongering. All the prepping, all the talk of community organizing, all the all the swords, you see it, right, and the gear, and the training were for nothing. Then the C-190 agenda hit like a freight train, right? And that, and, that, and that failed, you know, but it was honestly just a, a pregame. You know, it was a, it was a uh, you know, because Evil E, you know, he likes to do test runs, you know, trial runs, you know, to get statistics together, you know, uh, <laughs> trying to graph how things played out. Because that's how Esau good sound, man. He's a uh, he's a cunning hunter. You see that the hearts of all of them are deep. As it says in uh, what's that Psalm sixty four. You see, they search out iniquities. 
You see? Hey, and this is what's coming to a city near you right here. This is what's coming to a city near you. Well, you proud Babylonians, man. I will cost, uh, you matter of fact, what I want to do is I want to jump down. Because there's quite a bit to read here. Lord will I'll leave the article in the description box for you, Aki Amanakwap. But I want to get to the point I want to make right here. Right? And it reads, martial law in the U.S. Would, would only ever work if a majority of conservatives support it. This is a fact. Hey, not necessarily. Okay? Because the will of the Lord is to have these troops come in. So it really doesn't matter because, again, your constitutional rights, they're not holding no weight no more. You see? As time goes on, and Esau knows he's running out of time, he's not going to give a damn, okay, what you people got to say. You see? He's just going to push the button, right? Keep in mind, Biden and his globalist friends have used every possible tactic to make martial law and in, 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 inevitability. Economic instability and stagflation have created a spike in violent crime and looting. Mass illegal migration is dragging down state welfare systems and is creating a trend of cultural dilution. And believe it or not, when you do your research, uh, Edomites are on welfare. The majority of people on welfare are Edomites, man. Open borders have allowed any number of possible foreign hostiles into the U.S., Yep, and that's all by design. <laughs> See? That's all by design, man. As it says in Jeremiah, what's that, Jeremiah? Let's get this real quick. Man, let me keep this right so I don't lose my spot. Um, The book of Jeremiah, real quick. Hey, these foreigners coming in here, that's all by design, man. You know, you got Jay coming in here for salvation and, and for deletion. You see? And they're the ones that are going to be <laughs> wreaking havoc on this place, man. Jeremiah 51, real quick. In verse 2, and it reads, And I will send unto Babylon fanners. And this Babylon is talking about Mystery Babylon the Great. Okay? A.K.A. America, man. Not ancient Babylon. You see? And will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her. And she'll empty her land for in the day of trouble. See that? For in the day of trouble. It's going to be a day of trouble. <laughs> uh, formerly known as what? Spe specifically known as what? Jacob's trouble. Right? For in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about. And what you're going to find out are these fanners. I got this in Jeremiah 51. I got it in the uh, NLT. These fanners are the foreigners, man. See, Jeremiah 51 and 2, foreigners will come and winnow her, blowing her away as chaff, man. See that? These foreigners are going to wreak havoc on this place, man. <laughs> and a lot of them are going to be part of that, uh, that UN troop set up, man. Them UN troops are going to hit the ground, man. That's going to be, that, that, who do you think is going to be enforcing that martial law? See? They will come from every side. To rise against her in her day of trouble, man. You see that? Now let's do this real quick. Go back to the KJV. Get this word fanners real quick. Strong's age twenty one fourteen. Zur. Zur. See that stranger. Right? Be a stranger. Right? They're a stranger to this land. Right? The foreigners. See? Foreigner. See? A. Hey, an enemy, man. See that? Hey, it's fitting to go down. Let's go back to this article. Let's continue on. In the midst of war, the government desire to control information and public discourse will be at its apex. However, as we have seen during C-19 and the Ukraine war, 
they have not proven effective at accomplishing this. As long as the internet is in place, it does not matter what kind of algorithms big tech applies to strifle the truth. The truth still finds a way. <laughs> Yo, Esau don't even know what he be saying. He just be saying it. Because this is the true saying. The truth always finds a way. Okay? First and foremost, this tru the truth of these scriptures, man. Because everything that's happening is wired in with prophecy. See? Everything that's happening right now is wired in with prophecy. Right? This means that the establishment will have to pursue extreme measures that can only be achieved within martial law within a martial law environment. See that? I see this situation going one of two ways if the current geopolitical trend continues. Now, let's get a little bit of this. This, this is his assumption, right? Option one, a multi-front war breaks out in the Middle East, including nations like Iran, Syria, Lebanon, Jordan, and Yemen. Israel faces serious failure. The U.S. is dragged into the war. <laughs> this is going to happen. Hey, this is prophecy, right? We quoted Jeremiah 49 and 20. I might have to go get that. The U.S. is dragged into the war. Or Israel uses its nuclear arsenal to destroy the resources, including populations of enemy nations, leading to the possible involvement of China and Russia. And thus, the U.S. is still dragged in, right? Because this can't be avoided. U.S. being dragged in cannot be avoided. Let's go here real quick. See, so here it is. Prophecy is taking place at an all-time high, and you got niggas, okay, worrying about some... Uh, uh, Babel, uh, some uh, Palestinians, man, over there in Chicago. But here it is, ba uh, prophecies still jumping off the pages. You see, here's why we can't be distracted with them, with them clowns, man. You know, we'll do a video on them. Let them, let the, let the, let the body, let the sheep know, let the flock know. You know, of these outrageous niggas going off and moving on right back into prophecy, man, because this is what's trending. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 49 and verse 20, and it reads, Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord Yahweh that he hath taken against Edom. See that? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. And his purposes that he hath purposed against the inhabitants of Teman, which are the Germans. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out and the least of the flock of them small hats. You see? They're going to draw Babylon, man, to that war in the Middle East. All in efforts to fulfill biblical prophecy, man. Continuing on. Surely he shall make their inhabitations desolate with them. See, they're going to lose. They're going to lose, man. <laughs> Let's continue on in this article. So, hey, this individual hit the head on the head right here with this option. Hey, right? Riots and terror attacks become a regular occurrence in the U.S. Not just initiated by... Uh, we got to speak in code here. You, Akiyam, can read this. All right, you see it? Right, inflators, but also lefties who have attached themselves to the cause. Of course, there's gonna be a lot of inside jobs, right? A draft is initiated which conservatives support in the hopes that it will help dissolve the riots. The draft will sink millions of weak, soft Zeniles, including women, into a bloody quagmire that they have no capacity to adapt to. You see, there's what you there's another thing you Babylonians have to look forward to. Alright? That draft, right? Draft protests and riots become the norm, pushing conservatives to support even stricter enforcement. Finally, martial law is enforced, so like it has announced, but the soldiers used on American soil to protect us from riots and terrorists will be primarily foreign nationals. See that? Illegal, illegal migrants, <laughs> they're them fanners, right? Given an easy shot as, sens as sensory if they join the military and put the boot down on dissenters, which they will gladly do because they have no cultural attachment to Babylon or Babylonians. At this stage, the Constitution will essentially be deleted. See? <laughs> and this is what it's going to be looking like, man. Okay, this is what it's going to be looking like. See? Martial law is going to hit. It's only a matter of time. That's part of that great evil. That's gonna come in these latter days, man. And these these devils are gonna come down. They're gonna come down with great wrath. Let me go ahead. So 
Second entry is 16 real quick. In verse 68, and it reads, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, man. Some of them UN troops, man. And they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols, right? And, hey, some of us are going to have to go into those female detention centers, man. Well, we're going to be idle. See? Being offered that idol, which is that what? That, that device the size of a grain of rice. You see? But those that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is dealing with, that he puts his spirit on, hey, will not comply. You see? And be, and be willing to take the death, man. Understanding that, hey, glory comes after that. You see? Glory comes after that, man. Let's get a little bit more of this article real quick. Let's read a little bit of this option B. The war expands and Israel faces imminent destruction. Biden commits U.S. naval forces to the fight along with ground troops, primarily special forces. As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there because ultimately we understand what's happening, man. You know, this man is desperate. Evil is desperate. You see, and he's using he's using all manners of witchcraft and tactics. You know, pulling all the strings that he has uh, sprawled out, you know, as tentacles throughout his government, throughout his throughout his queendom, in order to you know create these scenarios. You know, but ultimately he's being controlled. You see, like a puppet by the ultimate puppet master, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And it's gonna come to a point where this man's gonna go into a rage. You see, let's go here real quick. The book of Revelation is chapter 12 and verse 12 and it reads, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Right, those of us in the courts of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, starting with the servants, the prophets, trickling all the way down to you men, women, and children that believe the report and walk the path of righteousness. Woe, destruction, right, to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, everyone outside of this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. For the devil, right, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man in the form of these international banking families, man, these, these small hats. You see, these deceivers, these liars, these slanderers, these false accusers, right? For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath. Why, Lord? Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time, man. And we telling him that. We're telling him that, man. He, he, he got a, a doomsday clock, okay, that confirmed it. That confirms he knows he has a short time, man. You see? And this word going out in full force, and us prophesying to the wind, the true men, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, starting with the elders and apostles of the great millstone on down to us like minded men, right? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is confirming our words, man. We're speaking prophecy into existence, man. This is how powerful this is. Matter of fact, let's close our right here to prove that. We'll close our right here through the Spirit. I'm pretty much, I'm out of time, unfortunately. Uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 44. Real quick. And, um, oh man, verse 26 is the point, but I got to start. Verse 26 is the point, but I got to start at verse 24. And it reads, Isaiah 44 and 24, and it reads, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb. I am the Lord Yahweh that maketh all things, that stretch forth the heavens alone, that spreadeth abroad the earth by myself that frustrated the tokens of the liars. And who's the liar? Evil E. Esau Edom, the so-called white man. He's that devil. You see that deceiver. See? But the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which is displayed, all right, through his servants, the prophets, in, in one way, because his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is displayed in, in many ways. And you can just take a look out you know, into, you know, into the atmosphere, man. 
And you see the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Lord is unexplainable, man. You know, but his men being the mouthpiece are just one example, you see, of his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding being on display. And what we're doing through the spirit is that we're speaking of what evil is talking about in his bedchambers, man. Through prophecy. Because Esau can't do nothing but fulfill prophecy. You see? <laughs> and this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is frustrating this man, man. You see, here it is. This man thinks he's going to do one thing. We speak on it. And he's trying to do something different. Fails and realizes he has to do exactly what he's planning on doing the first time, man. He's in a quag and he's in a quagmire. <laughs> you see? Hey, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. You see? That frustrated the tokens of the liars and maketh the diviners mad, right? That turneth wise men backward, man. You see? And maketh their knowledge foolish through this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, man. Through these scriptures, through this prophecy. You see? Let's get the point. That confirmeth the word of his servant and performeth the counsel of his messengers. You see? The Lord confirmeth the counsel of his messengers, man. We're speaking the Lord's word. We're coming in the authority of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see, and as we speak these things, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is confirming it, man, and performing, okay, the counsel that we're speaking. You see, that saith to Jerusalem, which is a people before it's a place. Right, which consists of us so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and they would and they will be speckled birds. Those that look like the other nations due to us being scattered, pursuing the Deuteronomy 28 and 64, man. But their bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right? Thou shalt be inhabited into the cities of Judah, ye shall be built, and I will raise up the the, 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 the the decayed places thereof, man. And this is what we're coming into, man. Okay? The tabernacle of David is being raised up as Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, is falling. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwaf were edified. Barakate Yahweh, Barakate Yahweh Shai, Kal Halalim La Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash, Shalom.